Welcome back everyone. Apple just released the latest iOS system, iOS 16. Maybe you can't wait to upgrade to iOS 16. But some of you have accidentally upgraded to iOS 15.7. When they tried to upgrade from iOS 15.7 to iOS 16, they met the problem of upgrade failure. Like this. So in today's video I'm gonna show you how to fix this issue. Method 1. View supported models. Some iPhone 7 users are able to upgrade to iOS 15.7, but they are actually unable to upgrade to iOS 16. So you need to check if your device supports the upgrade to iOS 16, if you're pretty sure. Let's move on. Method 2. Check Wi-Fi. This is a basic requirement for upgrades. If your Wi-Fi doesn't work, or is bad, Apple can't accept your upgrade request, much less give you a response. Then you need to go switch another valid Wi-Fi. Method 3. Check apps using WLAN and mobile data. This is something that many people miss out on. Tap it and make sure settings is using both WLAN and mobile data. Method 4. Reset network settings. This is a useful step for most people. Just go settings. General. Scroll down to the bottom. Tap transfer or reset iPhone. Reset. Select Reset Network Settings. Then reconnect the Wi-Fi when it boots. Meth 5. Restart Device. If you're using iPhone 8 and above, press Power Button and Volume Down at the same time. Then slide to Power Off. And press the Power Button again to reboot. Sometimes a reboot will help you solve unexpected bugs. Usually the above solutions are able to solve your problem. Then you can wait for the update to iOS 16 normally. Like this. If this does not solve your problem, then you can use the following method. Method 6. Update with Rayboot. There is a very convenient tool called Tenorshare Reiboot. It can help you update your phone to iOS 16 without losing data. Check out the download link in description below. Connect your device to computer. Open Reiboot and click Start. Then choose Standard Repair. Reiboot will automatically fetch the iOS 16 firmware for you and what's more. The whole process won't cause any data loss. So you don't need to back up your device. The whole process will take 10 minutes or so. Just wait patiently and keep your device connected. Well done. You have successfully upgraded. Let's check it. I'll simply skip up the settings parts and we head to the home screen. And that's it. Okay, so that's all for today's video. If it helps, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Stay tuned for our next video.